Do we need criminal law? This requires us to choose between abolitionism and reformism. We've seen that there are major problems with every aspect of criminal justice system as it currently exists. It's classist, it's ableist, it's racist, but that doesn't address the question, can it be reformed or should it be abolished? In itself, it's not controversial to say that restorative justice is a good thing or that it should be more widely used. Restorative justice is used in many countries around the world, including the United Kingdom. It's produced good results, but it generally functions as an adjunct to the criminal justice system, not as a replacement to it. And as we've heard, restorative justice has limitations. It doesn't have the kind of fact-finding process, and so it is unsuitable for adjudicating guilt and innocence. It doesn't necessarily tackle the structural causes of the criminal justice rather than being a mere replacement for it. Transformative justice, on the other hand, is more ambitious. In general, it's an explicitly anti-prison and abolitionist alternative to the formal justice system. It seeks to address the root causes of criminal behaviour and to transform the conditions that lead to crime. This approach recognises that crime is often the result of structural inequalities, oppression and violence, and seeks to address those underlying causes and issues through social and political change. Transformative justice emphasises the importance of community-based solutions and has a focus on healing and transformation. However, we just have to engage with the criticisms of the abolitionist approach to justice. It has to be acknowledged that in the real world, many victims and many members of the public demand to see perpetrators of serious violence punished, and that isn't necessarily an intractable desire. But it is also not one that we can ignore when making decisions about public policy. In a world with no criminal justice system, we could expect to see vigilante justice. To that end, I'm not convinced that the immediate abolition of crim the criminal courts, police or prisons is a feasible or desirable goal. However, the exploration of these alternatives does offer a valuable perspective, insight on the limitations of our current system and the possibilities for change. We should acknowledge that the criminal punishment cannot solve the underlying problems, social problems that cause harm and conflict in our society and often make them worse. We should challenge the gross inequality and injustice that our capitalist economy and the structural racism that often accompanies it. And we should push for all communities to have high quality education, housing, jobs and healthcare accessible to all. We need to expand the space for restorative, transformative and community-based approaches to conflict resolution. If we take these steps, the role of criminal justice in our society may well diminish.